Google Assistant, Siri, and Bixby. There are tons of comparisons out there and the most of them have pretty much the same questions. But this time I decided to compare all of them to ChatGPT, the smartest AI machine in the world. This comparison will not include the questions we usually ask to our virtual assistants like calling or texting someone, unit conversions, or playing media. But it will include the type of questions that people usually ask to chat GPT, like how to fix something, get a book summary, or even some lines of code. Actually, I will not score chat GPT answers, but I will compare the responses of each assistant to chat GPT, and the phones with the closest answer will get the point. So here I have the 7 Pro for Google Assistant, the S23 Ultra for Bixby, and the 14 Pro Max for Siri. All three are set to give the full voice responses they can possibly do, and they are running the latest stable software versions available at the time of filming this video. So let's start with the comparison and I will call the first category the DIY questions. Question number one, how to remove stains from my sofa? According to Molly Maid, create a cleaning solution by combining equal parts water and white vinegar in a small bucket. Dip a microfiber cloth into the solution so that it is damp but not wet. Wipe the couch, rinsing the cloth regularly. Dry the couch with a clean, dry microfiber cloth. I'm not able to do that. I found this on the web. Of course, ChatGPT gave the most detailed response with clear instructions, and you will see that Google Assistant answer matches the last three points in the ChatGPT response. Bixby thought that I'm asking her to clean the sofa and told me she's not able to do that, and Siri slapped some web results on the screen and called it a day. So one point for Google Assistant and nothing for the other two. Question number two, how to clean my white shoes? According to famous footwear, mix one tablespoon of hot water with one tablespoon of white vinegar and one tablespoon of baking soda together to form a paste. Using a toothbrush, apply to the shoes in a circular motion, then leave shoes to air for several hours before brushing and shaking off the dried paste. Okay. I found this on the web for how to clean my white shoes. Check it out. Google Assistant answer was similar to point 0.5 and 6 in a chat GPT response. Bixby showed the same answer as Google Assistant but didn't give any voice feedback. And I like Siri's consistency for being so lazy and just providing the web results. So one point for Google Assistant and Bixby. Question number three, give me ideas to save water at home. Here's a summary from Volusia County Government. 25 ways to save water. Check your toilet for leaks. Stop using your toilet as an ashtray or wastebasket. Put a plastic bottle in your toilet tank. What should I search for? Ideas to save water at home. There's no home in your location. Okay, I found this on the web for give me ideas to save water at home. Check it out. Google Assistant answer did match chat GPT in the first four points and the rest were different but all of them are useful. Bixby confirmed that I'm homeless and Siri as expected showed the web results. So starting now, I will mute Siri responses up until she says something useful. So one point only for Google Assistant this time. Question four, give me ideas to save electricity at home. According to ADDC, you can reduce your lighting bill by as much as 90% by replacing those old bulbs with modern LED or CFL bulbs. Of course, where possible it's better to use natural light in place of the electric version. Always unplug electric appliances when they're not being used. What should I search for? Give me ideas to save electricity. To continue, I need access to your Spotify account. Google Assistant answered that match a chat GPT in points 1, 2, and 4. Bixby will use my Spotify account to save electricity, which is a great idea. And Siri, I mean, and that's it. So again, one point for Google Assistant only. Now we are done with the DIY questions, so let's jump to the well-being category. And the question 5 is, how to decrease eye strain after a long time of using monitors? According to Mayo Clinic, take eye breaks. Throughout the day, give your eyes a break by looking away from your monitor. Try the 2020-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. Okay, here's a summary of what I found. Try to make it a habit to blink more often when looking at a monitor. Take eye breaks. Throughout the day, give your eyes a break by looking away from your monitor. Try the 2020-20 rule. Every 20 minutes, look at something 20 feet away for at least 20 seconds. 
I'm sorry, I didn't quite catch that. Could you please say that again? Google Assistant and Bixby did give the same answer that match point four and five in a chat GPT. So one point for each and Siri didn't understand the question. Number six, how to create a healthy diet plan. According to NHLBI, a healthy eating plan, one, emphasizes vegetables, fruits, whole grains, and fat-free or low-fat dairy products. Two, includes lean meats, whole... When should I save the meal plan for? Google Assistant answer matches point three, four, and six in ChatGPT. Bixby wanted to schedule the meals that I didn't even plan, so one point for Google Assistant. Question seven. What's the maximum amount of sugar humans shouldn't exceed every day? According to Harvard T.H. Chan School of Public Health, Harvard University, the AHA suggests a stricter added sugar limit of no more than 100 calories per day for most adult women and no more than 150 calories per day for most men. Okay, here's a summary of what I found. The AHA suggests a stricter added sugar limit of no more than 100 calories. Bixby and Google Assistant gave the same exact answers that match the first paragraph in a chat GPT, so one point for each. Question 8. Summarize the book Atomic Habits. According to 4-Minute Books, one-sentence summary, Atomic Habits is the definitive guide to breaking bad behaviors and adopting good ones in four steps, showing you how small, incremental, everyday routines compound into massive, positive change over time. I didn't understand that. And another point for Google Assistant only. Now we are done with this category, so let's end this video with the job-related questions. Question 9. How to create a content strategy plan for a YouTube channel? Here's a summary from Uscreen. Let's jump right in. 1. Step 1. Define your YouTube channel goals. 2. Step 2. Research your target audience. 3. Step 3. Research competitors. 4. Step 4. There aren't any YouTube services available. Google Assistant answer was a very short brief of the ChatGPT plan that went too deep into the steps like optimizing videos for SEO, marketing the videos, and more. But Google Assistant will take the point as it was the closest. For Bixby, I can't get enough of its hilarious responses, and the video is about to end, and Siri didn't get a single point just yet. Question 10. What are the best keywords to use in a customer service manager resume? Customer service manager resume keywords and skills. First, customer service. Second, customer relationship management. Third, management, plus more. And for the first time, Bixby answered the question that Google Assistant couldn't, and it's also very close to ChatGPT. So well done, Bixby. You took the point this time. Question 11. Show me blog post ideas about technology. Here's a summary from marketdesignco.com, 13 tech blog post ideas to build your 2023 content calendar, how to post, case studies, product plus service updates, product reviews, content survey, current trends, video tutorials, event or trade show recap, and more. Sorry, that's not supported. Google Assistant answer was very generic this time and it didn't really provide something specific to technology while ChatGPT nailed it as usual. But at least it came up with an answer so it's the only one that takes the point. Question number 12 and the last one in this comparison. How can I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? According to Bootcamp, UX Collective, to make an HTTP request in JavaScript, you can use the XML HTTP request object or the fetch function. Both examples will send a GET request to the specified URL and log the response data to the console. You have three translation services. Do you want to use Bixby Translation, iTranslate, or My Japanese Dictionary? Okay, I found this on the web for how can I make an HTTP request in JavaScript. Check it out. Google Assistant provided a correct but brief answer while ChatGPT provided the actual code which is insane. Bixby still the funniest assistant I've ever seen, and I don't know what's wrong with Siri. And that gives the last point to Google Assistant. So that's pretty much it for today. That was my comparison between the top three virtual assistants versus the smartest AI in the world, ChatGPT. Please let me know in the comments what do you think. But for now, thank you so much for watching, and see you the next video.